Let's work on tips to mastering respiratory training. If you're having trouble maintaining proper breathing while sitting upright, try leaning back a little during training. You may find this easier to complete your training properly in the beginning. However, as soon as possible, sit in an upright position for maximum benefits. If you are new to respiratory muscle training, you will experience a lightheaded feeling during your first few weeks of training. Your body needs time to adjust to the increased exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. When the lightheadedness occurs during a session, pause for several minutes, breathing normally without the breather, and then continue. Exhale through pursed lips as you are breathing normally till the lightheadedness subsides. If the feeling persists, stop and contact your care provider. You are welcome to contact us as well. Do not puff your cheeks while exhaling. Exhaled resistance should be generated from the airways, not your cheeks. If you are puffing your cheeks during exhalation, your setting may be too high. Turn the exhalation dial numbered one through five back a setting, or try resting a little longer between reps or sets. You can also hold your cheeks with your hand until you are more comfortable in training. During training, swallow normally. If necessary, remove the breather from your mouth to swallow, preventing a buildup of saliva in the breather. You can even take sips of water between sets as a dry throat is common for beginners. It's important that you don't let air escape through your nose during training. If this is difficult for you, you may initially need to hold your nose with your fingers to get the feel of the proper airflow through your mouth. Nose clips may also be used, but some find it causes an uncomfortable sensation in the ear canals. However, initially holding your nose with your fingers may be necessary to get the feel of proper airflow through your mouth. You may want to take a few breaths holding the nose closed, then a few without then a few with, until you get it. Listen for the wind sound. You want to breathe in and out through the breather with enough effort and force to create an audible wind sound. If you're not hearing the wind, you're not using enough force. You may need to take a short break or lower the resistance on your breather. Training may cause you to cough. <coughs> this is okay, even good, because we know exhalation with resistance can help clear the lungs, and who doesn't want clear lungs? So if you need to cough, take the breather out of your mouth and go right ahead. If the cough produces any phlegm or secretions, remember to expel them and not swallow them back down. When you're done coughing, rest as needed and then restart your reps again. This is a natural time to practice the huff cough maneuver. And finally, it's a good idea and very rewarding to keep track of your daily progress. You might just surprise yourself with the progress you make over the weeks of consistent training. This concludes the lesson. Thanks for watching. We hope this lesson was helpful in your efforts to improve your respiratory training. 